Welcome back, my dear students. So in this lecture, I want to show you how to use some of the development tools that make our lives a lot easier when we are coding Node applications. All right. So there is this tool called Node Mon. Okay. Now this is going to take care of one big issue that we have every time we have to make a change to our application. And what is that change? Well, restart the server, right? Every time we make a change, we have to restart the server all the time. That is the issue we got. So this program here gets installed in our local computer and it works only for development. Well, it actually works for your um, local lo your local files, but it also works for your global files because we can install it globally in our computers and we can install it locally in our application that is inside our computer. So let's go ahead and play around with it. So I'm going to say npm install we pass the G flag hyphen G to install this globally in our computer. But if we want, if we are doing this using a Mac, we need to say sudo for the super user command, type in the password of the computer and enter. This is going to install Nodemon globally, meaning that I can come to my terminal in uh, my computer and type in Nodemon like this and it will find it. As you can see, it's finding it. Okay, so if I type in Nodemon help, hyphen hyphen help, then we get a whole bunch of other information. Now, like this page said, we can install it globally, I mean locally as well. But let me show you how this package works first before we install it locally. So, you, do you remember this process? file here that we created that is asking a question, right? It's, it's about the stud out object instead in and the standard input object, right? The standard output and the standard input. Great. Now, if I want to use this as the way it is, I have to type in node and the name of the file all the time. And I have to do control C to stop it and, and turn it on again. If I want, if I'm making changes to see those changes, I have to, I will have to stop it and turn it on, stop it and turn it on. But with Nodemon, I can say Nodemon, I want you to watch this file. And it says, OK, gives me the version. Restart at any time. Enter RS. We don't want that, but it's actually watching that file. So if I make a change and I say, ask me a question now, you see that it's restarted Nodemon again. I mean, Node. And it made the change. You see that? You see the changes right there. So this is the beauty, the beauty of Nodemon. Hello. Come back here. Voila. So this will help us in development a lot. Okay. Now it was saying that it helps us. Let's do Control C to get out. It helps us do this in the development uh, locally as well. So. NPM installed, and then we save this to, and I believe this is the development. Let me see. We can save it locally as well. All right. So right now, if we type in Nodemon by itself, like this, it's actually looking for an index.js. Do you know why that is? Why do you think Nodemon is looking for index.js? Well, let me show you. If we go to package.json, that's the entry point here. So if I type in, if I give this another name like index23, and I execute Nomon again, it's looking for index23. Still working, but it's waiting, it's waiting for the file changes before starting again. Okay? It's waiting for this error to go away. So I'm going to do control C and that's it. Let's actually install this locally so you can see how it looks. So let's do npm. Let's clear this out first. npm install to the development dependencies. And let me show you. If you go to package.json, actually we are here. We have the dependencies that our app needs to work. This is what our app needs in order for the app to actually do everything we want it to. 
But then we have another section for dependencies. I'm going to show you that. Enter it. And we're going to install Nolman in a development dependencies section. You're going to see how this is going to appear here in a minute once my IDE finishes indexing all this data. All right. It's taking a little bit because it's doing all the things at the same time. There we go. Dev dependencies. Okay. So this is the dependencies that we don't actually need. These dependencies will get ignored when we are doing other things like, you know, uh, bundling this up so we can make it work in the in the server. Bundling this up and putting it together for production. We're not going to execute none of this stuff. Okay. Anyway, that's it for showing you this tool. There are a lot of other tools that you can use that are very similar to Nodemon. There are tools that will help you with um, syntax highlighting, like linting, telling you if you you know how to code better, giving you better examples. You know, like lint. Let me actually show you that. JS yeah, lint. If you type that in, okay. So there are a whole bunch of tools that you can use. Grunt Lint, JS Lint. There are other many, many tools. And you probably heard of Grump as well, right? There are many tools that are super cool. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.